I'm Stern Checker ET Meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Tuesday weather forecast. Cold front's making its way through the Chippewa Valley today, and that will at least allow for a couple areas of some flurry, some drizzle, or some very light rain or snow showers. And it doesn't look to be anything too significant, probably not going to accumulate to much, if anything. The reason for that is because we have a limited amount of energy and moisture available, as really all of that is with a low pressure down across the Ohio Valley, which is going to be bringing rain, thunderstorms, and snow from areas near Boston in New York City all the way down into the deep south. So that will likely cause travel issues today and into tomorrow if you're traveling in those areas. Once the front moves through here in the Chippewa Valley, it will get a little breezy this afternoon, but the winds will decrease a little bit tonight as higher pressure moves in. Now for tomorrow, Another system is going to move through, but this one's going to come through without any fanfare. Really, it's going to come through in dry fashion. All it's going to do is bring in a few extra clouds for Wednesday evening and shift the winds back to the north and west as Canadian high pressure will settle in and that will allow in for some colder air, but more seasonable air to move into the area to round out the week and into the weekend. Temperatures will be a little below average, but not by a whole lot. Speaking of the wind, it will be a little breezy at times today and again on Thursday as that higher pressure moves in. Tomorrow and Friday, though, the wind a touch breezy at times, but nothing overly significant. And again, compared to what we dealt with at the end of last week, we will certainly take numbers in the lower to middle single digits versus 20, 30, 40 mile per hour winds like we dealt with on Thursday last week. Again, slight chance of precip today, and then again with a little bit of some flurries and light snow Saturday night into Sunday, and then into early next week, just a very, very minor chance of a passing flurry or two. Really going forward, don't really see anything too significant in the forecast. So if you have travel plans, you know, near or far, looking to be pretty good. Just some wind at times. Temperatures today, 40 to 45 degrees. That's still a few degrees above average for this time of the year. A lot of clouds, again, turning breezy. Slight chance of that passing rain or snow shower. Tonight, the winds go light. We decrease the cloud cover. Temperatures falling back between 20 and 25 degrees. Some of the colder spots in the teens. Tomorrow, though, we bounce back a little bit. Mid to upper 40s, maybe close to 50 if you're down towards, say, Alma or Duran, Pepin, those areas closer to 40 towards Medford. And then for Thanksgiving Day, highs only in the low to mid 30s. And it's going to be breezy, so we're going to feel more like the 20s throughout the day. So Thanksgiving Day is going to be dry. It's just going to be a little bit on the chilly side. And it stays chilly and breezy through the weekend with highs in the low to mid 30s, lows in the teens and 20s. And again, just that very small chance of a light snow shower or patchy areas of flurries Saturday night into Sunday.